tactical high power operational responder, also referred to as Thor, was subjected to a groundbreaking test by the US Air Force. Thor is not a hammer wielding god, but it's a non kinetic counter drone swarm electromagnetic weapon that AFRL developed for air based defense. It's a containerized system equipped with high powered microwave technology that's been specifically developed to counter and engage multiple drones within close range, fulfilling a crucial role in point defense operations. The Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, conducted the demonstration on April 5th at the Chestnut Test Site, Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico, according to a recent AFRL press release. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the successful test of Thor is great news for the US military. Let's get into the details. According to the press release, during the test, Captain Eric Plummer, a test engineer with AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate DED, was responsible for aiming the Thor system as it engaged a swarm of multiple targets. Adrian Lucero, Thor Program Manager at AFRL's DED, notes the Thor team flew numerous drones at the Thor system to simulate a real-world swarm attack. Thor has never been tested against these types of drones before, but this didn't stop the system from dropping the targets out of the sky with its non-kinetic speed of light high power microwave or HPM pulses. As Lucero notes, Thor uses high power microwaves to essentially fry, disable or disrupt electronic systems on a target. Captain Tyler Hansen, Thor Deputy Program Manager of the recent demonstration, said, Thor was extremely efficient with a near continuous firing of the system during the swarm engagement. It is an early demonstration and we are confident we can take this same technology and make it more effective to protect our personnel around the world. Drones are no longer just being used as harmless hobby systems or just for surveillance. These are being employed as weapons to strike targets at long standoff ranges. Drone technology has become very advanced and relatively cheap. From conflicts in Syria, Nagorno-Karabakh to Ukraine, they are playing a key role. It has become increasingly clear that a swarm of armed drones has the potential to cause a lot of damage. Currently, there are two ways to neutralize drones. One, non-kinetic kill approach, where the drone is not hit physically with a projectile. It can be electromagnetic weapons like Thor that basically damage electric circuits or disrupt the drone's communication with the ground control station, resulting in them falling out of the sky. Or two, kinetic kill approach, where the enemy drone is physically damaged. This can be done by intercepting the drone with missiles, automated gun systems, and lasers. New Age drones powered by AI are more self-reliant and don't need continuous human control, and hence the resistance to electronic warfare. Several new variants of drones can automatically return to the operator, even if communication is lost. AFRL first exhibited Thor at the 2019 Air Force Association Air, Space and Cyber Conference at the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center, located just across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. in Virginia, September 16th to 18th. Stephen Langdon, chief of the High Power Microwave Technologies Branch of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, said, Thor is essentially a high-powered electromagnetic source that we put together to specifically defeat drones. Thor program manager Amber Anderson had said earlier that the system operates like a flashlight and that anything caught in the beam will be taken down in the blink of an eye. It operates from ground power and uses energy to disable drones. Second Lieutenant James Weimer, a research physicist for the program with the Air Force Research Lab's Technology Directorate, said this is designed for base defense. He added, what it does is that it sends out that high power, short pulse of microwaves that disable the electronics on the system itself. AFRL highlights that Thor can be conveniently packaged in a 20-foot transport container 
making it easily transportable via a C-130 aircraft. It's been reported that the system can be swiftly set up within three hours, and its user interface is designed to minimize the need for extensive user training. According to AFRL, the development costs for the technology backing Thor total approximately $18 million. Drones can be taken out with traditional methods, like rapid-firing guns, but since they're small and highly maneuverable, this can be difficult. Thor has some very important advantages. The speed enables it to hit its targets almost instantaneously. Thor will also not need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence it will be able to take out a much larger number of threats, constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant, as traditional air defense systems can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats. It's silent and invisible, which makes it very much suitable for use in the urban landscape. It will also be much cheaper, as only electricity will be required, and the cost as low as a dollar per shot. This is very cost-effective compared to conventional weapons. In recent years, the U.S. Air Force has been actively exploring different directed energy weapons, such as lasers, to counter the potential threats presented by small unmanned aircraft. These experiments aim to enhance the Air Force's capabilities in effectively addressing the challenges posed by these drones. Another system called Chimera, the counter-electronic high-power microwave extended-range air base air defense, has been specifically designed to engage targets at medium to long ranges. With the capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, Thor possesses the potential to become an invaluable defensive weapon against drone swarms. In scenarios where other close-in defenses, such as gun systems or lasers, may encounter challenges, Thor can offer a reliable solution. Notably, the U.S. Air Force is not the sole branch of the U.S. military expressing interest in Thor. In early 2021, the U.S. Army made an official announcement regarding its financial contribution to the program. Thor will be integrated into the Indirect Fire Protection Capability High Power Microwave IFPC HPM prototype system, which the U.S. Army intends to deploy by fiscal year 2024. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.